Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I hope you all are doing great. In this session, I will be explaining and describing you how I have got my first postdoctoral award that too prior to my PhD viva. So I will be guiding you the procedure how you can apply for these fellowship. Very specifically here, I will be explaining you the procedure and the fellowship I Frick Kisimato International Fellowship and in general, how was my experience, research experience and life in Japan. So let's start this session. I have already made one videos where I have shown you how you can get your postdoc position in USA and Japan. So if you have missed watching that video, I request you to watch there. So there I have already showed you what are the perks, the advantage, the procedure to apply for these uh, fellowships. But here I will be mostly focusing about this IFREC Kisimato Fellowship. So Japan is really a great choice if you are planning for your study abroad or high studies and work purpose because the country is really very safe. If we talk about the science, research and development experience, mentor are there, lab wise, technology wise, it is really very sophisticated and advanced technology are there. Every year, most of this medicine award, Nobel prizes awards are going to you know, Japanese scientists. Japanese people are very supportive also. And along with that, you will also gain international experience. So choosing Japan is really a great choice. So let me share my experience, how I have got this position, how I have approached Professor Suzo Akira. So this uh, Professor Suzo Akira's lab is present in VPI IFREC Center and IFREC Center only provide this IFREC Kisimoto Fellowship. IFREC Center is present in Osaka University. So during that time, Professor Suzo Akira was the director of that institute. And prior to that, actually, I visited Japan for my invited talk in ICI immunology Kobe meeting. So during that time, I got to know about the renowned scientists who are working in immunobiology and other sectors. So I approached Professor Suzo Akira via email, actually. During that time, I was not having any publication. I was not having my viva done, but still I mailed him and I have sent one cover letter along with my CV where I have mentioned that I do have experience in my RNA expertise and RNA aftermath technology and cancer biology. And I have read his paper and our work is overlapping and I am having interest in joining his lab. Although during that time, my publication was under the review. It was not published during that time. So because many of the researcher and student have this myth that while applying for this postdoc and PhD position, we should have publication. But he was a director. It was a renowned lab. It was a renowned fellowship still without Viva and without my publication at that moment. I got this position. So I sent CV and I sent my interest and along with that, a very good cover letter, I guess. On same day, I got the reply from Professor Akira that uh, he is interested in having me in his lab and I should write uh, a research plan. And uh, he's, uh, he gave all the ideas how I have to join and all these things. In fact, I was so surprised that I have asked Professor Suzo Akira that I have to give some presentation or may I have to visit Japan. But he said, no, uh, you, um, I don't have to deal with all those things. Just CV and then research plan and my research interest I have to send in. And the other administrative work, he has assigned some secretary and then we have started all the paperwork also. So once I got the approval from Professor Akira, I started all the administrative work. I received few papers from the administrative team, which I have to fill. Mostly they have asked for the educational qualification, work experience, publication related things and what I have done in my PhD and what I am planning to work there in the IFEX center. So I filled all those forms. And within few months, I got my PhD viva also done. And uh, I got my first uh, RNA biology paper related to my PhD also. So 
everything was done i got my visa also very easily and based on that uh, i got my visa by march and i joined the lab in april 1st actually so if you are planning to apply for ifrex center for this kissimeto fellowship i would uh, request you and guide you to first visit the page of ifrex center see the member see the supervisor what kind of work they are applying based on that approach the supervisor make your precise cvs if you have publication it is good but if you don't have any publication still you can approach them like in my case i have approached professor akira and then based on their work and your research experience you have to plan research plan like what you are going to do there how your work is overlapping so all these things like how you have to write your cvs your cover letter sops how you have to apply for phd post doc these videos i have already made and i have covered all these points so i have i request you to guy, uh, watch that video so you can uh, you can very easily document these things and along with that if you have some award and scholarship then you you can provide that also like in my case i was having csi awards and many other awards also travel grants and all these things and then three reference letter also they will ask so maybe from your recommendation letter from your supervisor and if you have done some dissertation and training so from there you can get these things as i mentioned year wise two time they open this position so accordingly by may and november you can finish all these thing and apply for this fellowship so all the non japanese researcher who have done their phd or maybe submitted their thesis can approach and apply for this fellowship if you have any query for application you can approach to ifrex center also by using this email and to summarize everything i wanted to emphasize that prior to approaching the supervisor you should have ready with your cvs very precisely the cover letter should uh, convey the message to the supervisor that okay you have read the publication of that group you are really interested in joining that lab you do have certain expertise which can be useful in their lab and accordingly plan your research proposal and plan and document all these things which are overlapping and then send these documentation on time two times uh, they open this fellowship so accordingly you can apply and along with that they do check the good marks the transcript and the award so try to do and do good in your curriculum and all these things and as i have mentioned that uh, all these experience i got because i visited japan during my invited talk in the seminars so try to avail these international award try to visit these places and interact directly to the supervisors and their team so the chances of getting these fellowship will be high i have already made one video where i have mentioned how you can get the travel award also kindly visit that uh, uh, video also i hope you have liked the session if you have any query you can drop me a message in the comment section and i request you to kindly like subscribe and share the session among your scientific friends thank you so much